for those wondering, my plaque is Foodie Beauty. It's not the Everyday Miriam one. Bitch, we know. What are you starting with the fucking plaque? Everybody knows that you hit the plaque with a hammer to get the new plaque. Was that just, oh, she has to make sure that the plaque is in every single video. And she wasn't going to put it on the table and have the vegetables all over it. So we had to see the plaque I see. Hello, guys. Welcome back to another video. I have another grocery haul for you. Now, the last grocery haul I did, I did claim that I was not going to cook. But I changed my mind, which I do a lot. There no, 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 no. You didn't change your mind. Salad changed your mind. Salad started battling you. We saw some of it go down in the chat publicly in front of everybody. He wanted you to cook because it costs him less money. So poof, just like that, we're cooking again and you're miserable. And it's part of why you're such a pissy fucking mood. Bitch, I didn't tell you to cook. I don't give a shit what you do. Hmm? Why are you mad at me? Why are you taking it out of me? Why you want to punch me? Go and punch Scatman. Uh, Ashton Fire, thank you for the super chat. Good energy for me, please, girls. This old chubby is home. Fresh food manager to pharmacy tech at hair. That's awesome. Oh, fingers crossed. You got this. Very frequently, and I decided that it's probably best to cook. Um, so a lot to bring up a good point that, you know, with cooking, I get to control how much salts and, you know, use cleaner oils and stuff like that. So um, we just basically know what we're putting in our food when we cook it. And I can also... Um, also make some cooking content for you guys as well. So yeah, so I made a meal plan and I got some groceries that I'm gonna need. Now this is gonna be, I guess a three part grocery. Of course she's baiting me. Listen, we said it yesterday. This, this AdSense check from this month, she's gonna get next month. Next month is the visa run. She's trying to Make sure that this check is big. Notice double uploads every day. We're only the fourth of the month. She's behaving like she's ending the month strong, but we're right at the beginning of the month. I said it yesterday. I have a feeling it's going to be content, content, content this month to pay for the visa run. What is she trying to do? Because although she's pumping out crap content, nobody's watching. Now she's trying to start beef. Start beef with me. Start beef with Yabba. Start beef with other reaction channels and anybody in her chat. She knows historically that's what gets her the views. But she's so goddamn dull and repetitive, it doesn't even work like that anymore. But I do believe she's very mad at Salad for making her cook, taking it out on us, the reaction channels, and also using it as something to have on this dying piece of shit channel. Mr. Cardigan Gorley, thank you again for the super chat. Hey, Mr. Snowflake asked for about 20 grossest clips of Foodie Beauty. Oh, boy. Oh, boy haul you saw already part one this is part two and i have part three coming up tomorrow we're going to go to the actual grocery store so um and the reason is is that different places have different things on sale so we are actually smart shopping which is something that is a new concept to me in life and i have to say i wish i did it a lot sooner so all right so there's this online grocery store every tuesday and wednesday they have a sale on certain fruits and vegetables AKA on Tuesdays and, and Thursdays or whatever the fuck she said, Tuesdays and Wednesdays, I'm barely listening to her anymore. You can place your order at the food bank or not order, but peruse through what they have. And those are the days that you get to do it. Got it. Okay. Captain Crunch. Thank you for the super chat. So usually for fruits and vegetables, um, I like to wait for the sale, which I don't always do though, but um, this is the best place for that. And the, the, vegetables that you're going to see here are um, 95 fills, which is like 75 cents or something like that. Like very, very, very cheap. So, all right, let's get to, let's get to. So I got, some of them have a max limit. So I got the max limit on everything. <laughs> um, tomatoes. What? 42 cent vegetables and there's a weight limit on how much you're allowed per vegetable? Just like at a food bank. I mean, or, or some kind of food pantry where you pay a little bit, but you get like a lot more than what you paid for. But there's a limit on what you can take and how much of what you can take. I'm sorry, you don't go shopping at a grocery store and they limit every single item. 
Some items, yeah, like y'all remember the debacle with the toilet paper and things like that? It happens. There's shortages of like random items, but not everything. 1027 Anno, thank you for the super chat. I think this is a kg. So I have two kgs of tomatoes. Those never go to waste here. I always eat them. So yeah, um, I got some potato buns. Uh, we have some lemons. We have a head of lettuce, romaine, really nice looking romaine head of lettuce. Grown in Canada, lettuce looks nicer and I'll die on that hill. Hmm. Face my baby. Thank you again for the super chat. Now, I got a couple of these small bags of um, barbecue flavor funny faces. I've never seen these in Canada, but I've tried them. Um, yeah, 143 calories per bag. And they're really good. Chips. Wow, what a healthy food haul. And again, it's those little, little bags like you would give to a kid, exactly like what you would find at a food bank. Those are for kids. Your fat ass couldn't leave it for the kids. But who's surprised? You took all the water that the kids had to drink in the middle of the desert. Do we think that she would leave them their little bags of chips? No. But you, Sugarfoot, definitely don't need them. Not Chantal. Thank you for the super chat. I don't know. I like them. And these are heartbreakers. These are ketchup flavor heartbreakers. Oh my God. Chips. They're like shaped like a heart. All right. And that's pretty much all the snacks I got. I got four bags of eggplant. I love eggplant. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Why would you show us all four bags? You know, she could take this food bank haul and turn it into what at least looks to us like, okay, yeah, they bought a few veggies. Like they bought this stuff. Four bags of eggplants. When's the last time anybody saw Chantal make an eggplant? I'll tell you when. It was at the crack house with Koki because, you know, Baba Ganoush. She has to become obsessed with everything. Hasn't cooked an eggplant since Koki. Probably doesn't remember at all how to even cook a fucking eggplant. That's four bags of eggplants to go in the garbage. So far, everything's going in the garbage except for those chips. Lost Girl, thank you for the super chat. Today was your first time reporting. Oh, bless. I might pickle some, but I'm definitely making baba ganoush. So stay tuned for a baba ganoush recipe. And also I want to try to make some kind of. Speaking of baba ganoush, <laughs> did anybody hear the good news today? Koki's channel is gone. Koki's channel has been terminated. The main channel. He's still got the other one. I don't even want to say its name. I don't even want to promote that in the slightest, but his main channel gone. Poof. Bye-bye. And on his second channel, yesterday he was doing some fuck shit. I don't know if you guys heard about this, but um, it seems like Dee Dee's brother had a hand in getting Dee Dee's mother out of that house. Because Koki is now suddenly very, very pissy at Dee Dee's brother. All got to do with Dee Dee's mom. And he uh, doxed Dee Dee's brother's name. And threatened to put the address of his workplace in the description of his video. I clicked. He didn't do it. But the threat is there. He's pissed. He's gonna. He's a fucking idiot. Paolo, thank you for the super sticker. Kind of like lasagna with eggplant maybe. We'll see. Like instead of noodles or like eggplant parmesan or something like that. I don't know. I love eggplant. I got two things of carrots for me and Howie. I got three bags of red onions. I would have preferred like... Even the way the veg is all bagged out, like correct me if I'm wrong, but I've never seen a bag of carrots so small like that. It's like small quantities to be able to give to more people. And then Heifer came along, you know? But it's definitely, definitely, again, giving food bank. This movie buff, thank you again for the super chat. Yeah, lost weight, but still sitting down. Always sitting down. Filters on max. I lost weight, you guys like Spanish or white, but those are always on sale, the red ones. I don't know why. I wish there was more limit to this, but only one per, you know, but this was 75 cents or whatever the conversion is, but a nice, huge, nice head of cauliflower. 
I love cauliflower. And all right, we have here, this was a really good sale. Like it was like $4 or something like that for two big things of natural honey. I have a little bit of honey in my tea. Huggy, huggy, honey is just sugar. Why not try to have your tea with no sweetener in it? The first cup will taste like shit. The second cup, you'll kind of be used to it. I went through that with coffee. And then I settled on the Splenda. You know, I live for the Splenda. But for a long while, zero sweetener at all in my coffee. And I was never somebody who thought I could, like, do that. I'm not one of those, you know, like, black coffee type girl. No, 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 no. Uh, but, yeah, the first cup was disgusting. Second cup, you, you're already getting used to it. There is no reason for you to be putting honey in your tea. Like, every single meal or drink all day has to be loaded with sugar and calories. But we're all the assholes for pointing that out. Mean Jean, thank you for the super chat. Yeah, no shit. This why they bring it all in just to throw it in the garbage. I, I always say, and I'm going to say it again, I hope at least he's giving this food away to somebody. I Cuddles Cats, thank you for the super chat. Love you, Frenchie. Love to Oceana song. And F all the way off, Chantal. By the way, he's still cheating. Bloop. You're not having, she's trying to steal the potato bread. She loves buns. I don't know why. Julia. You can't have it. Are you a carb lover? You're supposed to be a carnivore, you freak. Anyways, this is for a treat. This is not healthy at all. But I'm going to limit it to like once a week or something like that. But oh, God. The spicy bulldog. Oh, God. I'm going to limit it to once a week. Tell us you have no self-awareness without telling us you have no self-awareness. Your whole problem is that you're incapable of limiting yourself. Why would you bring that kind of shit into the house? And why are you focusing that this is a snack? You just showed us three bags of chips. Were those not snacks? You thought those just passed over with the baba ganoush. Nice try. Blobfish. Hey, girl. Thank you for the super chat. You've been in the hospital. Oh, I hope you're home now. I hope you're doing better. Nice to see you, girl. Black noodles. I love them so much. So I just got two packs. That's it. This is a, such a good deal. All of this cheese, but it's basically the burger, like the um, sliced cheese, processed cheese slices. But these are so good. They're the burger ones. Wow. So more cheese. We just got cheese earlier in the week. Two packs. Two packs. And now we have more cheese. Oh, wait, but it's not even cheese. It's that fake fucking oil cheese. And you get like all of this cheese. Oh, so four packs. Oh, God. Of Almirai burger cheese. cheese. Four packs. Four packs. She really needed four packs of that cheese. Why do you do this to yourself? I'm getting so angry and I can't stand this woman. I could not fucking care less. And still, I'm getting so angry sitting here sweating. <laughs> Why would you set yourself up to fail in this way? I love it. We knew you'd fail. You're incapable of fucking doing anything to help yourself for fuck's sake. Why would you bring that much fake cheese into the house? Why would you bring the like bulldog noodles into the house? If all you had around you was like vegetables, your fat ass certainly isn't going to go out and get anything. It would force you to eat the fucking vegetables or not eat at all. Skinny queen reacts. Hey girl, thank you for the super chat. Inshallah, she comes back to Canada soon. My money is on Frenchie. <laughs> when we get there again, I have a proposition for her. Slices, which are good for like grilled cheese sandwiches, toasted tomato sandwiches on whole wheat or sourdough bread or on meat. You get all that. And that was like on sale. So yeah, I think it was like close to $5. I also got two packs of lean ground beef. I'm going to be making a lot of recipes with that and I haven't had it in a while. So, but the doctor told you to just eat chicken and fish. He called it the white meats. He told you to just eat the white meats. What do you need two packs of hamburger for? You haven't had it in a while? That's for the best. You don't need it. Mr. Cardigan Gorley, thank you for the super chat. Is she going to make soup after it's all bad again? Probably. Or maybe not even. It's too hot to make soup, you guys. God, she makes me so mad. AC Hill, thank you for the super chat. Wish you girl luck. Made myself a doctor's appointment last night and told him everything that happened. I'm now getting tested for gallstones. That's great. I hope it all goes smoothly for you, girl. Yeah, I was craving it. <laughs> um, more beef here. We have beef cubes. 
Oh my God. Nice. Just because you say it with your fucking low BMI voice and the most hideous shade of red lipstick I've ever seen doesn't mean that shit's not bad for you. Two packs of, of beef cubes. You're two people. If he eats, what do you need two packs of that for? What did you need two packs of burger for? You were just told by a doctor, Betus Sugarfoot, that you should only eat the white meats. Uh, you better pull out some fucking fish in this hole. But I don't know. Fish at a food bank? Hmm. Pickled Sugarfoot. Thank you for the super chat. Didn't Chins just say that she detoxed her palate? Yes. And now chips taste only like salt and oil. Absolutely she did. But she she was only lying to herself when she said that. None of us. We laughed. Salad laughed. Mm-hmm gonna make like different recipes with it yeah nice beef curry we have some chicken breasts they're frozen ah, woo! you can help tell she's way more excited for the beef chicken breasts they're frozen immediately down that's what the doctor told you to eat Lori, thank you for the super chat and we have a whole frozen chicken griller thing chicken, a whole chicken to make like a roast chicken or, a, you know, I'll probably make, try to make cabsa, which is one of my favorite dishes here. Yeah. So, but yeah, the Samyang noodles, they're very spicy. So I only eat one at a time anyway. Like it's not like Indomie where it's not spicy and you can just eat like a bunch. Does anybody believe that just because it's spicy, she only eats one? No, just because it's spicy, she probably makes as many as she normally would, which is two or three packs at a time, but has to drink extra juice while she eats it because her mouth is on fire. <laughs> RH, thank you for the super chat. Chantel probably uses salads, fam kids, fam's kids to get the food. Hmm. Maybe they qualify for being a, like able to make orders at that place because they live in what's supposed to be a family building in a very poor neighborhood. Maybe it's got something to do with that. Or yeah, maybe they use this. You know what? Who, who the hell knows? I just hope somebody is eating all this food because this is disgusting. Why would you take four bags of anything? All you do is throw vegetables out. You hate vegetables. You had to take four bags. You had to take the chips and things that like kids would enjoy. You're such a disgusting human being. Shout out for real, for real. Nutty, thank you for the super chat. She will eat the cat before she eats the veggies. Absolutely right. Looks over at that cash. <laughs> you look tasty. Which at a time. But one pack has 550 calories. This is the cheese one. And it's so spicy. But I love it. The flavor is so good. So this will be like a treat. Like for real a treat. <laughs> so not an everyday thing. I used to eat like in Domi the instant noodles every day. And they're so high in sodium. So yeah. I'm going to really control myself with that. I really try really hard to. But other than that, that's all the fruits and vegetables um, I got for this haul. Like I said, tomorrow Salah and I are going to go to the actual like Jamea, which is just grocery store in Arabic. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a grocery store in Arabic. Uh -huh. I just wanted to show you that I know another food related word. I know all the food in the grocery store and I can tell you grocery store. Oh, great. How do you say like my name is? Oh, I don't fucking know that. I was busy learning foods. Blobfish. Thank you for the super chat. So, and, 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 and another thing. So tomorrow you go to the grocery store. Why? You got a grocery store. You got a grocery haul now. You got a grocery store uh, haul a few days ago. Why would you go to the grocery store again tomorrow? Oh, to fill in all the things that you didn't get for free at the food bank. Got it. This is an online Jamea and we're going to go to the actual grocery store tomorrow. I made a whole list of things I need. I need some things, you know, to make the recipes for the week. I have like a whole week of meals. Um, written down. So there's some things I want Salah to try like that are like, you know, like Western food, Western recipe. So <laughs> a culture, why would you force your culture down his throat? He can't clean a fucking toilet in his own home because of that culture, but you're trying to what make him burgers. He doesn't like beef. He doesn't like you clean the fucking toilet salad. Baby boy, David, thank you for the super chat celebrating because for the first time since my early 20s, I'm in the 130s. That is amazing. Congratulations, skinny. Something I haven't had in a while, you know, and I'm going to make him some things. And Baba Ganoush and pita chips. Yummy, yum, yum. Um, 
I wasn't in the mood to cook like when I did my last grocery haul, but now. Hey, fatty, you know that there's other things you can dip into dips besides pita and bread, the bread that you're not supposed to be eating. You just got all those carrots that are going to go in the garbage. Cut that shit up and dip that into your baba ganoush. I am kind of in the mood. Like when I was writing down the recipes and like researching what I want to make, I'm like, yeah, I'm in the mood to cook again. Anyways, just another grocery haul for you. The next haul will be in the grocery store. I'm going to vlog in the store and show you guys what it's like and what I get and stuff like that. You've already done this. Oh, this is so stupid. People bug her to go out and make content. She takes us to a grocery store again. Of all the things she's done in Kuwait, I would say the most that we've seen is grocery stores and zoos and shit. Nobody wants to see you go shopping for food. Go to the mall. Buy something crazy. Go to the gold souk. You live in one of the richest countries in the world. Gold is very much part of the culture, you fucking idiot. Go and uh, spend some of your rich husband's money. Get yourself something gold. We fucking dare you. That's the kind of shopping people are talking about. They want to see the malls. They don't give a shit to see the same grocery store again and you buying 16 tons of cream and uh, cheese. That's just stupid. 1027 Anno, thank you for the super chat. Highly processed food. You are what you eat. Yeah, change or don't, cutie. It's not our cirrhosis from fatty liver, not, uh, no gallbladder, DM2, renal disease, and so on. It's your life. That's right. She gets mad when we say that too, that it doesn't affect us. It's not our sugar foot. It's not any one of our organs. We're somehow haters for pointing that out. Girl, you don't care. Why the fuck would any of us care? Cherry Blossom Mocha, thank you again for the super chat. She is the seven deadly chins. <laughs> I changed it to chins. Felt appropriate. So I actually like the grocery stores here. I don't know. I like the vibe. I like you know, just the food. The vibe of a grocery and, um, store. It's like, oh, you're talking about like, I don't know, uh, a cafe or like a restaurant. No, no, the grocery store. I love the vibe. Mm, vibes. Mr. Cardigan Gorley, thank you again for the super chat. She does know her sugar will go up. Meds or not. No, I'm taking the meds. It's going to all regulate itself because of the meds. I can eat whatever the fuck I want. She's like pouring a sugar, a bag of sugar into her mouth. And she just looks over at the camera and goes, meds. <laughs> <laughs> 